All right, what's going on, guys? Today we're bringing you the third episode of the Shock Drop Podcast. What's going on, guys? Got Anders here, of course, and Mac. And what we're going to be doing today is going over the new Supreme Season preview. Yeah, cool brand. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but <laughs> just dropped their big uh, the preview, which is where they release pictures of basically all the mainline pieces that we'll be releasing yeah, throughout so the year. Yeah, so this doesn't include any collaborations that will be dropping next season, but it does have a preview of what's to come, so... It's always exciting to look at it. Yeah, big the day season. for the resellers, everybody out there. Or just like the buyers, you know. There you go. <laughs> All right. You want to take it away? What's your favorite? What's your what's well, pieces you're interested in? We're kind in? of going in the order it shows on the site. Yeah. So the first items are jackets. I mean, to start it off, we just got like this basic Gore-Tex Supreme jacket. I mean, Supreme does their jackets well. I mean, that Gore-Tex is pretty cool too. I mean, something about the technology and like the way the functionality meets it it's kind of pretty cool i mean yeah it's like the waterproof technology so it works well in the weather you know <laughs> exactly <laughs> gotta stay strapped you know <laughs> um i would say also a couple of jackets that are interested in that i also like this it's kind of a little bit out there but it's kind of a like a cheetah print like fur jacket kind of got that little bit of that tyler creator vibe sort of out there style but i think it's pretty cool it's got reversible and these kind of handling uh, detailing cross which i think is pretty unique that's a pretty cool look i don't know i couldn't rock that but you probably could it's definitely a, it's a more of a a fashion person type of look but for sure for sure <laughs> another interesting piece here that got is the the rhinestone like you know trucker jacket. i saw that when cool. i was looking through it it's got you know it's got the uh twin towers on the back the which, which is cool way to respect the twin towers a really cool like uh, skyline photo from back then. Not sure so. if it's something I would probably rock though. I mean, we were just in New York uh, last month. Yeah, went we, to the we went to the uh, Freedom Tower, you know, the, and we went to the memorial in the museum. Very, very um, heavy, but very important thing to do if you're yeah. ever there, visit for sure. It was a good, experience. incredible museum. Um, I'll just bring it up with this right here. This is the uh, Gore-Tex poncho that yeah, they're the, dropping. I don't know, man. The Dude. logo is just a little too much for me. It's just too much like supreme across the Listen, whole man, body. Listen, in the olive green colorway. Bro, it's cool. It's like this like hits. That. This <laughs> hits. Bro, it'd be a crazy piece to just wear around. It's a flex for sure, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do the huge logoing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cop, bro. <laughs> another another interesting one is this like. It's called the D ring trench coat. Another one of those kind of like low key supreme pieces, but I think the red like I really like this bright red color and it's got some interesting like detailing on like the chest area here, but I mean. Realistically, will I cop like a seven hundred dollar Supreme coat? Probably not. But it's cool. Is it made cool of leather? Is that one made of leather? No, but you know their coats are always expensive. Oh, of course. But let's see other pieces. I did also really like these vests, kind of utility vest things they're dropping. It's the nylon cargo vest. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of kind of this tactical vest look. A little bit hard to wear, you know. It's kind of hard to wear at school. You don't want to get like. <laughs> flagged for some reason but they're they're cool Fla uh, what are you talking about bro? i don't know i don't know man, it looks Come on, a little man. Sus. anyone can wear a vest i mean i'm not gonna wear a vest but um, that's just my personal style um yeah i mean that's all the jacks i've got you got any more or? i did also like this kind of it's called the bonded logo puffer jacket but it's kind of like a like an embossed supreme logo across the whole thing it's very unique i think okay. i saw this was like a kind of like a riff off of old, like maybe like a fendi jacket or something like that that had done the same thing They've done Shout out Supreme, uh, what's that What's that Instagram account that does all like the Supreme copies, shout out Supreme copies. Oh yeah, you? they do like all like the uh, history behind yeah, the always design. Keep them locked. Um, another, one other thing I wanted to mention here, let's see, it's this like pinstripe varsity jacket with, uh, do you know what lettering that is? I mean, it's Japanese, I don't know what it says though. I mean, it's kind of, it sort of gives you like old like vintage like Yankees jacket kind of look. I think that's pretty cool. Very retro, and I like the lettering on the front. It's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, might as well just get into the hoodies now. Yeah, moving on. Oh, actually, wait. One oh, more. He's got one more. <laughs> I did also really like this, the wolf print. It's got the wolf fleece jacket. It's the fleece with the uh, kind of that classic, like, early 2000s, like, National Park wolf print on the front. I think it's pretty pretty <laughs> wavy. All right. Pretty all out right. there. Um, yeah, so, I mean, to start off with the hoodies, I thought this was, like, kind of like a main piece that kind of stood out for me it was the grand prix yeah that's fire that's super cool i mean it's got a sick graphic on it i always love when supreme does the kind of the all over picture yeah print. those are very cool is, yeah they've done a lot of these in the past you know undercover yeah. collabs cdg collabs just stuff with the all over print that really 
hits pretty well. They always use like a really interesting, like kind of retro looking photo, which I really like. Yeah. It's, it's like an image of like a Grand Prix crash or something like that, which is yeah. pretty intense, but very cool. Um, other, I don't know. I would personally say just as a rule, I didn't love, love the hoodies this year. It's a lot of kind of the same old from Supreme, to be honest. There's one on there that I did like that kind yeah. of stood out. The, it's the like classic a, ad. So It's like a rework of the old Supreme ad from like the 90s, but that, that's pretty cool. I have to admit, that's very cool. I, I like the Supreme classic logo a lot. It doesn't like pop out of you like the box logo, which I kind of like the more. I wish, it, I wish it got more use. I feel like it doesn't doesn't get that much use. They've got a crew more. neck on there, I think. Um, I, I don't know. He'll pull, put a picture in. Sure. There was a classic logo crew neck that looked pretty good dope, so. Moving on to a couple of the shirts, uh, Supreme, I don't know if it's not necessarily known for their button downs, but they always, they have a pretty unique one here. It's got like an all over print of drills on it, which I think is really crazy, but I think is sick. It's got like <laughs> a, like these random pictures of like an orange and a yellow and a red drill. And it's just like super odd and I love it. It's sick. Might be, it might could, be a personal collection cop. You could go with that. Yeah. Um, um, this one stood out, the also, Salvador yeah. Dali, um, it's got like his famous painting with the clocks melting away it says it's here from the the painting it's called the persistence of memory yeah it's a it's a really famous painting especially the it. orange one i really like the orange that'd be yeah. sick. sick it comes in three colors somewhere. black orange and pink um it's just a cool design yeah. it's kind of going back to some of the old stuff supreme used to do very so unique. i definitely do like that piece there was one other let's see cardigan that i really liked it was the it's called the corner stripe polo sweater Super cool. It's got this black, it's an all black cardigan kind of button up sweater with these huge yellow kind of stripes on it and stuff like that. Yeah, really cool bro. design. Looks like nice quality. Kind of kind of my style. Very yeah, much you my should style. Cop that, yeah. Kind of a workwear look. Um I like this S logo polo. Big fan of Supreme polos over here. <laughs> I'm, no, 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 I'm not a huge fan. I, I've got a couple, but um, Yeah, that's cool. I like this kind of I don't know. I'm gonna look like I'm it. straight out of the UK with this man, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like the, the I like the S on the side. That's kind of, you don't see that every day. This is a very European look. So. Oh, for sure, for sure. Our London boys out there. <laughs> um, one other cardigan sort of thing I liked was the patchwork mohair cardigan. Very okay. much on the dad wave. Okay. But it looks like pretty quality, and I think the different colors they use are pretty interesting, and that'd be kind of a fun fun piece to get. But knowing it's mohair, it probably could be expensive. Nah, so we'll see. It probably won't be. You could probably pick that up. Yeah, hopefully it's not more than like 150 bucks or something like that. Um, let's see, anything else in the T section that really jumped out to you? I mean, I kind of like this cycling jersey. <laughs> yeah, it's that's a, that's an interesting one. Isn't I it? mean, like I go mountain biking yeah. in the summer, so I mean it'd be kind of cool to have the one in the preview. I think it was the black and green one. Yeah. Or maybe it was the red and white one, but this blue one, man. That's blue one's really kind of cool. dope <laughs> my dad's a big cycling fan so maybe i'll have to uh, pick one of those up for a little birthday present or something get hype really, beast dad really. on the on the bike I, I mean it's got like the huge supreme logo I'm, I'm it's kinda, a lot of supreme but it's cool i'm kind of cool. not i'm not really into the box logo anymore the big that's kind of i feel like that's how we both got into kind of got into the whole deal it's just no, like i'm just i'm kind of done with that like, like that but the supreme that i'm copying now if i'm going to at all is going to be something that's going to work low key well stuff. with low a key fit. Stuff. Yeah, the low-key stuff. <laughs> that's how it be. Um, the other stuff I also thought was interesting was the kind of – they did a couple pieces with, like, 47 brand and Raiders. Not not really sure why exactly they picked the Raiders as the specific team to do it. They've had Raiders stuff in the past. Oh, really? I've seen okay. It. I don't know – why exactly? I'm sure there's a reason, but but they're it's pretty cool. Very just clean, kind of just just a print with the uh, nice like looks like a uh, embroidered uh, Raiders logo on there. It's pretty cool. Right. Um, um, another T-shirt I'll throw in there is the uh, knot T. Yeah, that's so pretty cool. The Celtic knot, right? I think yeah, I heard that's like the Viking logo print yeah. or something like that. That's pretty cool. I, I mean, there's like a this like cool knot thing. It's kind of got that very like Scandinavian sort of design. It's, yeah, to it's it. just kind of an iteration of that. Another tee that we both just liked. Uh, I, yeah, I think, yeah, I love this one. We were one. about to say the same thing, the the city, city art. Tea. Yeah, I'm going to need this. This is like kind of the best tee that I saw. I would, I would fully agree. It's got I like... Mean, you've got the subway. You've got some buildings in Manhattan or Brooklyn. It's like made of flat iron building You've got the uh, Statue of Liberty. Uh, you know, you've got Empire State Building, Brooklyn Bridge, Brownstone. Like, yeah, super cool. I don't know. I'm, Very, I'm, like, playing, yeah. paying respect to New York. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn, show. New York, so... Big, yeah, big New York guy over here. <laughs> this is just like a really cool t-shirt. I mean, 
the one t-shirt I really wanted in the past was the Brooklyn Box logo, the yeah. camo that dropped it. A little hard to get, you know. Williamsburg <laughs> store when it opened. I tried so hard to get it. And then during school, they dropped it online. That was crazy. I remember that. People were just going insane. That? Yeah, they dropped it online. It was all the funds went to um, Puerto Rico, I believe. Um, yeah. And... Man, I just wish I could have copied yeah, that. Yeah, this is pretty sick. I like kind of the phone number on the back, too. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So this one I'm going to get in uh, exchange for not getting the BOGO. <laughs> there you go. Let's say that. <laughs> so before we hit the trash pieces of this uh, drop, we're going to do the accessories real fast. <laughs> which accessories, people, the accessories hit this season. I mean, yeah, we could go through all the accessories because they're all cool. They're all fire. But you know, we'll kind of just talk about the ones that kind of stood out for us. Sure. Um, Just before we go into that. I know we didn't really go over any hats, but it's kind of like the same basic hat run that they usually do. I mean, they have like their five panels, they have their six panels, and they've got their like S logo designs, yeah. their script designs. I mean, there's some cool stuff there. Um, I kind of just look at the hats like when they drop. I don't really go into too depth on it. I would preview, say so. as a beanie wearer, occasionally I would say that the over dyed beanie with the kind of the I guess it would be like, uh, what is this? Tie dye look is very cool. I okay. might be picking up one of those tie dye over dye beanies, but besides it, that, man. not it. a lot for me there. Um, okay, so to start off with the accessories, I, this is like my favorite one the director's chair. Yeah, director's chair is sick. That's I an mean, apartment piece right yeah, there. Yeah, like right now we're living in like dorms in college, but next year we're kind of upgrading. So, yeah. I mean, I'll have my own room. He'll have his like yes, own sir. apartment with his friends. Some of his other friends. Um, I'm, I'm going to be an RA next year. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the kids in that, line. That's the only reason I'm not living in the apartment with him. Mac, love the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm going to be an RA, but I'll have my own room for that. So if I could get this director's chair and have it posted up in the corner somewhere. That's, that's a fire piece. I want to that's do a, that. That's a RA flex right there. Yeah. And it says like it's made of just, I mean, just wood. Like it's a director's chair. I'm hoping it's not too expensive. Hopefully I, not. You I, know, Supreme though, it could be. I know, but I couldn't see this over 150 bucks. I, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, if it's like really ridiculous, I'm not going to buy it. But. <laughs> Probably my favorite piece of the entire accessories collection had to be the Hot Wheels. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As, I don't know, my Hot Wheels have always been a big part of my Growing up, I always had lo loved Hot Wheels. I always loved cars. It's kind of a thing my dad and I shared. And this Hot Wheels Supreme thing is super cool. It's got like, it says it's got a 92 BMW M3 that comes out the back of like a Supreme like car truck. So yeah, that is it, that's very really cool. cool. I'm going to need to get that. Might even pay resale to get that. That is I mean, just an awesome I can't piece. tell like how to scale it is. Is it like the same size? I would size assume it's probably it's... not. can't be much more than this. Big. Okay. But and this, this probably comes out, the yeah, little car. Yeah, it's a full car that comes out. So that's, okay, yeah. That's fire. I'm going to need that just for, like, the dresser or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that is so dope. Um, the pool cue. Pool, cool, pool cue is <laughs> very pool cool. Cue. I mean, I probably won't cop, but I just thought it was. It's a unique piece. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm not, like, a professional pool player. <laughs> I mean, we have the. Uh, Got the pool, pool tables down in the basement of the dorm. Tables down in the basement. But <laughs> probably I probably don't a need a Supreme games. pool cue for that. <laughs> Dude, maybe if I buy the Supreme pool cue. You'll become better. I'll be supreme in my skills as <laughs> Get out a here. pool player. <laughs> uh, another piece I really like was the leather waist shoulder pouch. So okay. it's kind of a little bit different from usual like fanny pack type thing. This is more of like a kind of, like what it kind of reminds me of is like some of those Virgil pieces from the new Virgil LV collection that had kind of like a waist, like a shoulder bag type thing. I think this looks like kind of really nice leather and kind of a really subtle branding, which I like too. It's it says cool. like waist or shoulder. So you could wear it like across your shoulder, yeah. wear it across the waist. So that's pretty cool. Wear it across your leg. Exactly. Yeah. Wear Maybe it across your pack. face. <laughs> Shut wear up. it across your neck. <laughs> Do whatever you want with it, man. Um, other stuff that I thought was pretty cool were um, Eno, of course. It's a Supreme <laughs> Eno. You can't go wrong with that. Go mocking in the Supreme. Those are about to be picked up by all them hype beast boys trying to do their homework out in, I'm, out in the park. I'm not going to cop park that. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to cop At college. Um, um, the Super Soaker. Super Soaker is funny. <laughs> like, it's just a meme, man. This will probably, probably be like 25 bucks. Yeah, why pick not? that up, a little piece of plastic with Supreme on it. Tape. <laughs> And for some reason, these tape measures, I don't even... Those, like, they, they stand out. They just look out. cool for some reason. I can't really tell you. It's got... Maybe it's just that supreme effect, but... It's got, like, a retro look. Something okay. about it is just unique looking, which what I, I like. What I'm realizing now is that they have different designs. This one says two meters. This one says six feet. I mean, that's the same... Huh, that's the same scale, but maybe yeah. they have, like, a different design in the black one compared to the red one. Or maybe you get both of them. I don't know. I don't know. They're sick. Maybe... Or... 
definitely something I'm not gonna be copping because what it's probably gonna be like four or five grand, but it, oh, not that expensive. Well, that's how much like the bike was. Yeah, but drums like I mean they'll range for a lot of money, but I think the Supreme drum set. I'm guessing no, voice. no, this is crazy. Nowhere over twenty five hundred, three thousand. I don't. Know, I couldn't. Man. Come on, man. Like <laughs> Supreme is would do it though, man. Right, I might I might totally be off on my drum set estimation there. <laughs> I definitely have seen drum sets for pretty, better pretty prices cool, than five grand. Sure. Um, just this basic water bottle. I kind of like. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. I mean. I don't really have any Supreme water bottles, so maybe I could, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm really saying about the water bottle. I just kind of like how the black yeah, and white it's one kinda, looks. It's just minimal. It kind of looks cool. The Band-Aids. Band-Aids are just fun. I mess with that. Um, yeah, that, for that, that does about does it for most of the stuff that really jump out to me. I guess, I mean, the gold pendant. Yeah, cool, so, but it's probably be pricey. They always drop like some cool pendants every year. Yeah. Um, this sure. one kind of kind of stands out because like the red coloring. Usually they're like solid gold. Yeah. Like I, they dropped like the Uzi in the past. Um, but this one's pretty cool, so. Well, should we hit some of the uh, the basura in this drop? The trash? <laughs> Is that Spanish? Or? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, to kick it off, we've got this... Uh, the garbage. <laughs> Gon's map work jacket. Okay, bro, I don't know why... Wait, he, okay. He hates this a lot, but I kind of... When I first saw it, I was like, whoa, that looks sick. Is that just a map of like New York or something? But... When you zoom in, it's just got all these like, like really like edgy phrases written all over or something. It just it just seems like so cringy to me. It's like just trying to be edgy for no apparent no, reason. You see, Gans, who is an artist, I know, but you really wear something with all these words all and over. And does it, stuff man. with it. Listen, I don't know, it just seems so unwearable. Look, it is New York. They've got Tribeca. They've got. He just got his own like, wording on it. I don't know. I just think it's for certain cringe. people it'd be cool. I don't think it's a trash piece though. Not at all. I think. Oh, I mean, we, we can we can agree to disagree, disagree here. Sure. Okay. <laughs> definitely a trash piece has got to be this Vanson's leather jacket Ghost Rider. <laughs> I mean, what what's going on here, man? I mean, if it's the Ghost Rider that I know, Ghost Rider is this guy who goes extremely fast on his motorcycle. He's got videos up on YouTube. He goes like 300 kilometers an hour, so it's pretty sick. But just, I mean, that guy's pretty sick, but the graphic on this is just, just like not, a massive skull. And I mean, it's a straight up biker jacket. On if a you're Vanson's into that. jacket, that'll be like 1K. I don't know. If you're into like, I don't know, Harley Davidson biker stuff, that's that it for you, for but me. not for me. Um, I guess this this is stood out to me as pretty bad. This Stars puffy jacket. Like, <laughs> it just doesn't look like anything it's good. Just like, <laughs> it's like it seems like like a like a trashy thing you'd find at like a thrift store or something like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What the, kind of a theme I've been noticing here with this season is there's a lot of like just basic stuff. Yeah. A lot of uh, I don't know. Um, I really do like the Supreme pieces that stand out, and also I like some of the like low low key stuff too. But some of the stuff is just not really. Seems like they weren't really pushing a lot of boundaries here. With yeah, like it's not pieces. screaming a whole lot. I thought it was me. very safe. And that well, what was not good was this cheetah hooded station jacket I, that's yeah that what, doesn't is this like a panel of cheetah it doesn't hit like well placed that's cool but this is this is so lazy it's just like <laughs> let's throw a cheetah yeah you could have taken the jacket, jacket and maybe put the cheetah print somewhere else <laughs> or on both sides or not at all but on one side it just looks it just looks terrible um another one here that i just another one that is kind of the same lane as the previous is this this hoodie we're trying to find it here um it's just literally says <laughs> this is my <laughs> on it supreme <laughs> and, which is like who is who in their right mind is gonna wear this you can't <laughs> like it's just so it's just so lazy i can't even imagine bro it's, it's it, just it, it's so cringy who it, would wear that it's, it's not a good design no <laughs> like you can't wear that anywhere you can't like you can't wear that to school the color is pretty bad oh it's just it's all around bad um <laughs> another one is this like it's called the pooty tea it's just got this print of like babies I mean, like cherubs or something well, yeah, like, like what, the, what is going on here it's like man? the uh the greek like roman stuff oh that's just <laughs> awful looking who would like who is picks up a t-shirt and wears that yo what's up guys honors here mac here we were just editing the video and we realized we lost like a good four or five minutes of the footage in the end so we're just recording this to let you guys know that we cut out a bit of it but we just wanted to still put in an outro 
So sorry if the video ended a little bit abruptly. Yeah. But um, <laughs> the stuff at the end, it wasn't really that interesting anyway. So we just wanted to say thank you for watching our new episode. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe <laughs> and look forward to seeing our next one. Catch you guys later.